I'm Vert Force founder Kimber Hill, and tonight we have a very special Tuesday Night Live where I'm here with my friends from Intuit. We are dropping a brand new course from Intuit and a new program called Intuit Academy. So, who is Intuit? Intuit, they are the proud makers of QuickBooks Live, TurboTax Live. Recently, they also acquired MailChimp and Mint. Yay, go into it. And they are fiercely dedicated to hiring from the military spouse community and military community. We love working for them and working with them over the past several years since we first met them in 2019. We have collaborated hand in hand to bring you free educational career content to prepare you for a career in the finance industry working at Intuit. They are salary W-2 employer with amazing benefits with both part-time year-round opportunities, full-time year-round opportunities, and part-time seasonal and full-time seasonal opportunities. A great place to start your career search. Virtual employment is here to stay. I'm military spouse, Vertforce founder, and your remote work expert, Kimber Hill. Subscribe now to learn how you you too can thrive in the virtual workforce. In tonight's live stream, we are covering the QuickBooks Live Expert Bookkeepers opportunity. We're covering recruiting for the credentialed tax expert role, CPAs, enrolled agents, practicing attorneys, and probably the most exciting thing about tonight is we're also covering the Intuit tax associate role for the upcoming tax year. Why is that important? Why is that relevant? Because now Intuit is offering you a free training to become an Intuit tax associate. Now what I'd like to do is pull our icebreaker up on screen. We have a word cloud and in this word cloud, you got to give us your topic that you wanna talk about tonight. When you RSVP'd to this event, we gave you the opportunity to share what you wanted to talk about with Intuit. So let's look at this word cloud together. We're gonna start out by assessing childcare benefits and that flexible schedule as well. So let's dive in with our guests now. So tonight we're gonna be talking about benefits in the work culture, but we also are going to meet Samantha and Artie. So first we've got Karina and Blair on with us. If you guys want to give us a wave, Karina and Blair are the two primary recruiters that we've been working with at Intuit. Karina is the recruiter at TurboTax. Blair is the recruiter at QuickBooks, and they are going to give us some great insight into what it's like to work in these departments. We are also joined tonight by Samantha Bryan. Samantha is an 11-year Army spouse who recently added two of those QuickBooks certifications uh, to her repertoire. And she uh, also has a master's degree in accounting and financial management. She got hired as a bilingual QuickBooks Live front office expert. She speaks English and Spanish. Hey, Samantha, we're excited to talk to you tonight. And finally, we are welcoming Artie Patel Martinez. She is the senior program manager on Intuit's expert development team who is teasing out some exciting news about Intuit Academy, uh, which is a new free training course where you can gain skills and unlock opportunities. That is our big reveal tonight. There's a totally new course. Artie's gonna tell us all about it, but let's dive in. First, I wanna hear about benefits and company culture. I'm so glad that you guys have been asking about Intuit's benefits and company culture. They have some of the best benefits for remote employees. And I'd love to give Karina and Blair the space to discuss that with us now. Sure, thanks Kimber, can you hear me all right? Yes, all we right. can hear you. Perfect, cool. Yeah, so um, I'll, I'll start off and, and just share some things uh, on the QuickBooks Live side. Um, and also great to be here today. Thank you so much. And thanks for everybody who's joined today. Really appreciate it. Always great to be back here with Kimber and the Vertforce team. Um, the, the the benefits you're, you're looking at for the QuickBooks Live bookkeeping roles, these are uh, year round W-2 hourly roles. So we are able to offer a, a benefits package, which would include medical, dental, vision, 
Um, there's a really nice 401k with a very competitive employer match. Every dollar you contribute into it is going to match a dollar 25 up to 10,000 per year. Um, from a benchmarking perspective, that's pretty unheard of for a part-time virtual role. So um, we're really happy to be able to offer that. You would also have um, your birthday as a, as a PTO, uh, so paid day off to celebrate your birthday. You would get into a product discounts. So if you're using TurboTax or, you know, QuickBooks for your own business, um, you'd get discounts on those items. Um, and then additionally, we do send you all the equipment that you need for the roles too. So um, we, we really just work to set you up for success and make sure you're, you're taken care of while you're, you're working in the role. And some non-traditional items I'll, I'll talk about too is like you have a great network and and resource group of teammates and leads and managers that you'll be working out uh, working with as well and i think that's a an added benefit and plus too so um yeah really exciting to be able to share that with you guys karina anything else you'd add so on the seasonal side um all of our tax associates and tax experts um, i will say that we don't offer medical benefits however we do offer um equipment and you get internet reimbursement. You do have the option to sign up for a 1K. There is sick time that's available and also um, discounts for Intuit products and services. Four hundred one ks are super important. Mill spouses, if you don't have your 401k activated, think about that as something similar to your husband or wife's TSP, your service members TSP, what they're doing to contribute to their retirement. As we look at the military spouse demographic and we see the 25% unemployment rate and we see the 68% unemployment rate, are you thinking about your retirement at all? Has it crossed your mind even once? That's why I'm so obsessed with promoting employers like Intuit who care about your career progression and career care about your career continuity and what's going to happen to you when you leave the workforce. So thank you for sharing that. I'll get off my soapbox. Samantha, can you share with me some of your favorite benefits that you experience personally working at Intuit? Uh, some of my favorite benefits would be um, flexible hours. You can work anywhere from 20 to 40. Uh, you, ha you have a dependent claim uh, deduction which makes your, your income going towards dependent care being income tax free um, and the, the fact that you can move anywhere and when you PCS you don't have to look for a new job that's so important how many times have you PCS about six yeah and how many years between each of those did you have a rhythm or was it random every two to three depending on the place yeah so we've been in the service for about four years and I've moved three times, sometimes within the same city, just kind of going from one base to another. But uh, moving, you know, it's it's research that moving can cause a little bit of a loss of identity. And for military spouses, the loss of identity can really manifest when there's no career progression or career continuity from one station to the next station. So getting in, on board with an employer who's we're embracing the remote first model can really solve a lot of problems for your professional and personal life there. So thank you for pointing that out. It's super important that we as military spouses are digging into remote first employers like into it. So another topic of discussion on that category though is child care. And you mentioned there were some uh, spending accounts, I think is what you mentioned. Um, the dependent care package. But we need to talk about that because a lot of us military spouses are the primary parent, right? When the service mm -hmm. member deploys, we're it, right? And a lot of times their demanding schedule at work means we're it, period. So how do you manage a career with Intuit and also being a parent? So I have a great example today. My son woke up sick, he couldn't go to school. So I had to keep him home. But because I work remotely, I didn't skip a beat and I just work from home and he's upstairs resting and we keep moving. We I don't lose the day. Blair and Clarina, do you have any insight also on the the childcare situation too? Blair, I know you're a parent. We've talked about this before where we're hopping on a live stream to promote the roles you're hiring for and you're like, hey, hang on, I've got to go get my kid. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, no, I'm, you know, I think the example um, that was just provided is a, a really good one and a real time one, right? Um, you know, that what Samantha described is similar to, you know, what, what a lot of people experience. And I think the great part about it is, you know, you get to you communicate with your manager or your lead about, you know, what's going on. And if you need to perhaps maybe adjust your schedule a little bit for the day, you can do that, right? And I, um, so that all just goes back to that resource. I was talking about, you're gonna have the support you need. You're gonna have the teammates you need. Maybe if you do need to unexpectedly take a, take a sick day or take the day off, your team can cover for you as well. Um, and we hear it into it, you know, truly understand that family is first and you have other things to take care of. So, um, you know, I've, I've, um, I would say that these are great opportunities to, to accommodate those types of situations when they pop up. And I will add on the TurboTax side, you're in control of your schedule. So, I mean, we have our hours of operation, but it's kind of like an Uber model where our agents go in and make their schedule selections. So you're obviously going to schedule it based on, you know, the, our hours of operation. But if you know that certain times of the day works great for you, you'll schedule it. And like Blair said, if you need to make changes, you go into this, it's an application tool that every agent has access to. So you can make changes as you know, it's, it's you're, you're in control of those changes. And of course, letting your manager know if something urgent comes up, but we get it. I mean, we've been working remotely even before the pandemic. So we've got a method to the madness. So Samantha, would you say that having that schedule flexibility today really paid off when you had a sick child pop up? Of course. I mean, had I had to go into the office, I would, number one, miss the day. So I would let my team down. And two, I would miss my pay. And having work from home, I don't do either one of those. And it's just a great benefit. Yeah, I would totally agree. So if Schedule flexibility is important to you as a stay-at-home parent. We want to hear about it. Throw it in the comments. We want to see how much you appreciate something like that in a care provider. Uh, I'm sorry, in a in a career provider. So speaking of career providers, let's take a, a long, hard look at career progression. Um, I'm going to try not to get on my, my soapbox on this, but you all know how important career progression is for me uh, personally. And I understand that everyone looks at their career as a little differently, but I do believe the way that you approach your career evolves over time. You know, there may be moments in your career where you're thinking, I really want to take a look at the next step. How do I grow from this? And one thing that very much aligns at Intuit is pathways for career progression. And we have already here to answer some questions about us, about that for us tonight. So the internal professional development programs at Intuit are definitely some of the best and some of my favorite. Uh, let's go ahead and dive into the enrolled agent program first. This one was launched. Karina, when did we launch this? 2020? I think it was actually 2019. 2020. Maybe 2020. It's been a while. <laughs> it's been a while, yeah. Yeah. Tell us about that and, and let's dive into the other programs too. Let's start with the enrolled agent program, Karina. Okay. And once you book I would love for you to tell us Perfect. how the path to to uh EA works. And then yes. I'd love to have Artie talk about the new one. <laughs> so currently any tax associate that gets hired they will receive an invitation to participate in our Intuit Expert Credentialing Program. What this is, it's an opportunity to work on obtaining your enrolled agent license. And we provide you with all the materials, you get mentors, you are not left alone. This journey, we get it, it's challenging, it's time consuming, but we have a good team of experts that are there to guide everyone. The only thing you have to do is pass the EA exam. It's a you know three-part exam, but once you pass the EA exam and you officially get your enrolled agent license, then we have um, a growth opportunity. So moving from tax associate over to tax expert. Any tax associate that does obtain their enrolled agent license, it's a promotional opportunity, which means that you don't need to interview. You get a new offer of moving into the tax expert role, which I know later on we'll talk about. There is an increase in pay and bonus that we offer. So this EA program, it's a strictly volunteer. You don't have to sign up if you don't want to, but you know, if Intuit's paying for it, it's a great benefit. I mean, even if you were, God forbid, leave the company, you still have the EA with you. 
Yes, and so what Karina is talking about is moving from the tax associate role up to the EA role. But what Artie is going to talk to us about is qualifying for the tax associate role. So as we look at these positions and we kind of see them as a ladder moving up, EA is going to be up here at the top. Tax associate is going to be somewhere here in the middle, close to the bottom. But you still have to have a certain set of experience and credentials to get there. I'd love to hear more about that from you, Artie. Sure. Hi, everybody. Um, thank you so much for having me. And I'm so excited to introduce you to Intuit Academy. So um, Intuit Academy is actually a free online training resource. It is open to anyone in the public. It doesn't matter where you are. The whole program, the program that we have on there right now is called the Intuit Academy Tax Level One. There is definitely more to come to Intuit Academy. So if you join Intuit Academy, stay tuned because there are lots of things planned. Um, but right now we're hosting the Tax Level One program, which basically is a, it's approximately 30 hours, um, self-paced, 17 courses. There are individual quizzes and assessments throughout the actual learning plan. And then there is an actual final exam. If a person takes and passes the final exam, they will earn their Intuit Academy Tax Level 1 badge. And what that badge does for folks is that if you have earned your badge and you have one year paid tax experience, that will actually help you and Karina forgive me if I'm wrong or step in if I'm wrong, but that will actually waive the three years worth of experience that we were asking for previously. So this is a huge, huge, exciting announcement. Um, it's something that is allowing a lot of opportunity for folks that have been wanting to participate in uh, recruitment for Intuit, but just may not have had the appropriate experience. So this kind of helps them get additional training, earn a badge, show what they know, and uh, get connected to a recruiter. Thank you so much for sharing this. So when we first started working with Intuit, none of these programs were in our sphere of accessibility, right? I think we first started working with them, the enrolled agent program populated. Then the QuickBooks, um, the QuickBooks 80 hour course series populated. And now we have Intuit Academy populating, creating the tax level one program so that Intuit is really pouring into creating avenues for you to prepare, become credentialed, become educated to qualify to work for this amazing organization. So what I've pulled on screen for you now, Artie, you said this was about 30 hours, right? Correct. It's 17 courses and it can take most people anywhere between 20 and 30 hours. And I just want to reiterate, it is free. Thank you. So what I've pulled up on screen for you here, and I'm looking at it on my browser right now, and it says gain the skills, unlock the opportunities, which I think is the perfect catchphrase here, because what do we typically see when we want to go apply for Intuit positions? They want to see your skill set exists and they want to see your experience exists. How do we create that if we're PCSing somewhere every two to three years? That is the biggest challenge that our community faces. And Intuit said, what, what, what? We heard you here. Here's your pathway. Here's your program. So on screen, uh, Intuit Academy. And then in the bottom left-hand corner here, you're going to see uh, bit.ly forward slash Intuit Academy tax. You can go sign up for this now. So what I'd really like to dive into before we hop into questions in the chat is what could your career look like with TurboTax provided you acquire the certification free, you complete these courses for free, qualify and get employed? What could that career progression journey look like? And uh, Karina and Artie, I'm going to put you a little bit in the hot seat here. If you could describe to me from entry level to EA, what that journey could look like if getting employed at Intuit and following the tax progression route. So I can speak on that. So once somebody obtains this level one tax badge, we still have, um, there's still tax experience that's required. So with the level one um, badge, you still need to have, if you have one year or more, or one season or more of tax uh, preparation experience, you'll be considered for the tax associate role. If you don't have one year, or if you have less than a year, then you'll be considered for a tax prep assistant. Our tax prep assistant is, um, it doesn't require any tax experience. So even with the level one badge, we're just um, 
minimizing the years of required tax experience. So regardless, for tax associate, we're still requiring one year of tax experience. And without the badge, then the years or three seasons of paid tax experience, if that helps. It certainly does. So without the badge, you've got to bring three years of tax prep experience to the table before Intuit will even interview you, right? Even take a second look at you. But with the badge, that reduces the requirement down to 12 months of experience. And we all know where we can get that. Why? Because Vertforce spent an hour talking to military spouses who work at Intuit and asking them where they went to get that experience. So uh, it's clear that Intuit is listening to our community's needs. It's clear that they're doing the work to create positive change for the military demographic. We hope that you will sign up for the course. We are definitely going to be diving more into that in our Coffee and Connect, but we also are going to be talking about the hiring process, how to pursue a career with Intuit, and how to get that offer letter, which works through the credentials that you need, the application process, the interview process, and uh, all the way down to talking with a recruiter. And we're going to go through those things in on Thursday on our Coffee and Connect live stream, and we're also going to buy you a free coffee for joining us. So I'll bring that link to RSVP back up shortly. But in the meantime, I think it's important that we hear from Blair and the QuickBooks department about any open roles that they're actively recruiting for and also the certifications available through that track as well. Yeah, I'd be happy to share more out there. So we are actively hiring right now for two June hire dates. Um, and these are for the QuickBooks Live bookkeeper positions. These are the year round roles. Um, and um, the uh, one main requirement and the certification, one of the certifications um, um, that we that we offer um, would be the QuickBooks Online Pro Advisor Certificate. And so that one uh, is free for you to complete. It takes about eight to 12 hours of your time. Um, and you can spread it out over a few days. Um, I think we have a one pager or a link that we can share out, uh, if, if not now, afterwards um, with, with everybody attending here today on how to kind of some helpful tips and steps to get started on that process. And the reason we have this in place is it helps us honor our promise to our customers, right? Um, they, our customers, our QuickBooks Align customers who use the QuickBooks Live offering know that they're going to be connecting with somebody who's an expert with the QBO software so they can help guide and advise them through their bookkeeping needs, which will in turn help them uh, be successful in their small business and help take that um, help take that uh, bookkeeping legwork off their plate so they can truly focus on the thing they love, which is, you know, running their business and, and you know, meeting the needs of their customers and not doing bookkeeping, right? So, um that having that certificate just ensures to each um, customer that um, they know they're connecting with an expert. The second one we have is the Intuit um, uh, Professional Bookkeeping Certificate. That's a newer one that we we recently launched. This is a 80 hour course that is uh, via Coursera and a final exam, which is proctored through Pearson View. Um, this is more geared towards individuals who are looking to get into the bookkeeping space. It's a great way to learn accounting and bookkeeping uh, fundamentals. Um, or for somebody who wants to brush up on these um, areas as well, it's a great opportunity to uh, learn um, maybe some new things or brush up on some stuff you haven't touched on in a while if you're getting back into this bookkeeping um, uh, type of field. So um, both of those are you know, phenomenal assets to have, not only for these opportunities, but if you add it to your resume and your portfolio, um, it's a value add that you can show for future opportunities, or if you're looking to get clients of your own for bookkeeping, showing that you have these certificates can certainly help as well. Um, but again, the the only one that's required is the QuickBooks Online Pro Advisor certificate one. And, and um, that's one we need to, in order to move you forward through the interview process here. And Vertforce has a handy dandy PDF that we can email to you. All you have to do is contact us at hire at vertforce.us. It's also in the files section of our private Facebook community. And in the files, you will be able to see the, the, the requirements because we're talking about three distinct opportunities. We're talking about three distinct, distinct training programs and we're talking about the requirements and credentials for each. So it can be easy for you to get confused or need a visual component to help aid your uh, 
your thought process on which one is right for you and which path you need to follow. So you can email us hire at vertforce.us to get that PDF or check the file section of our Facebook group and you'll find it there. So what I'd like to do uh, now is call to the community and say, hey, if you're listening, if you're watching and you have questions for Blair, Karina, Artie, Samantha, or questions about working for Intuit at all, we'd love to answer them now. So please bring them into the chat. Here's a question from Facebook user asks, if you have a finance or accounting degree, do you recommend taking Coursera course? I can answer that. <laughs> uh, so if you have experience, then you don't have to take it. But if you want that one year experience canceled, then I would recommend you take the course. Thanks for that advice, Samantha. All right, Michelle Smith asks, does Intuit require a four-year degree for their QBO bookkeeping position? I can take that one. Uh, no, we don't. We don't. Um, you know what we're what we're typically looking for is um, you know folks who have experience with the QuickBooks Online software of, of around a year or so. But we have some ways to kind of help you through um, that via the certificates that we've um, previously previously discussed, and then also. Um, you know, a few years of paid bookkeeping experience as well, but we don't require a degree. Is it a, is it a plus, especially if it's relevant and in the accounting space or yes, absolutely. Thanks, Blair. Here's a follow-up question to that on the same note, is the one year of bookkeeping experience still required if you have a bachelor's degree in accounting? Um, I, I would say yes. Um, and, um, the reason I say that is because the accounting, although super helpful, is still different than the bookkeeping you'll be doing here um, in these roles. So I would encourage you to still apply and then you can chat with the recruiter um, through that a little bit further and they'll help kind of guide you on, on next steps or move you through the process from there. Thank you, Blair. Mm -hmm. All right, Schrock is asking for the RSVP link. So I'll call on one of my team members to provide Schrock on YouTube, the RSVP link. And we have, are the TurboTax positions primarily seasonal or is there a year round opportunity, Karina? At this time, they are seasonal for the tax season. Um, very rarely will we hire year round, um, but when we do hire year round, it's offered internally to those that are currently working. But there, I'm gonna tell you, just because it's seasonal, there is opportunity for growth. So come in, you know, get your feet wet. Um, that's a great experience to add. And then the rest is on you. But yes, there's opportunity for growth. Absolutely. I mean, that's very clearly evident by the EA program, which by the way, if you're thinking about a career in this industry and you're thinking about going to work for Intuit, the EA program is the most no brainer uh, offer I've heard. Um, if this were my industry, I would have already been done with that. Why? Because the EA certification is a federal credential. It's different than becoming a CPA. So as it applies to our lifestyle, being married to the military, and as we change states so often, the EA is the only financial credential in the tax space that's recognized by the IRS and is as good in Florida as it is in California or New York or anywhere else in the country. So think about that. Good question from the Ink Yard. Is there a different track for veterans? That's a very generic question. But here with TurboTax, um, if you don't have um, one year of paid tax experience, we will accept a year of volunteer tax experience. Um, and we've been able to do that with our, our veteran folks. Um, but everything else still still applies. So if you have, I would say, I mean, Spice up your resume. So if you have done, whether it's friends or family tax preparation, put it on your resume because otherwise we won't have visibility or we won't know. And it'd be good for us to be able to see that on your resume. So by the time you talk to a recruiter, you can just talk about um, what if you have volunteer work. At least that'll be helpful on the TurboTax side. Awesome. Thanks, Karina. Yeah, and then um, on the um, QuickBooks Live side, there's opportunity um, 
if you don't have the required experience, <clears throat> if you go through the um, certifications to still move you through the process um, for these opportunities. And, and uh, you know, myself or, or the other recruiters can share more info with you about that. And I'll also share that being a vert force candidate, these paths all apply to veterans. So we support the military spouse community and veteran. Fun fact about vert force is although we are 92% military spouse, we are also 14% veteran because a lot of you military spouses have also served. So our opportunities are always open to veterans as well. So thank you, Inkyard, for your question. Kimberly Williams would like to know if you hire in Colorado and do you offer remote positions there? Absolutely. Thank you, Kimberly. Thanks. Blair. All right. So Carrie says, are there any jobs at Intuit that will hire entry level with no experience if I take the Coursera course and I have a bachelor's degree in an unrelated field? Blair? Yes, if you complete the Coursera course and the and pass the Pearson View um, certificate exam and then do the QuickBooks Online Pro Advisor certificate, um, we can definitely um, have a conversation to help to move you through the process for the QuickBooks Live roles. Regarding into it at a at a high level, um, you know, I, I think it would be good for you to just take a look at the uh, into it career site. Um, I, you know, I would say most of the roles do, even at the entry level, do require some sort of relevant skills and experience, though. Carrie, I also think you would benefit from having that PDF handout we've been talking about. So if you will email hire at vertforce.us or make sure you are RSVP'd for our Thursday event, we will make sure you get the handout. David asks, will you please go over a day in the life of a tax expert? Is there a workflow that you pull from and work as needed? Are there minimum hours a week that you need to fulfill in order to stay employed? Great question. So when it comes to minimum requirement, we do ask all of our agents to commit to a minimum of 20 hours a week during our hours of operation. So during the tax season, we operate seven days a week between 5 a.m. and 9 p.m. Pacific. So that means that you'll make your schedule selections during those operating hours. And what I was referencing earlier that agents are in control of their schedule, we utilize this expert portal where agents go in and make schedule selections and you'll see a variety of different schedules available. Now, uh, our agents can work in four hour blocks of time. So they can do four hours in the morning, four hours in the evening. There's really no cap on how many hours you can work as long as you stick to that minimum requirement. Whatever schedule you've selected, what will happen is that's when calls will get routed to you. So we offer training. Training is done remotely and it's about 10 days of training and it's a combination of some live sessions with me and address and other agents and then self-led sessions. Now, we will provide the equipment. So all of the training, all of the work will be done from the equipment that we provide. So we do provide an Intuit laptop. We utilize Amazon Connect for the calls that get routed in. And then every agent is required to be on video with our customers. So during that time, that's when you're gonna be helping our customers out, whether it's just tax advice, tax review, or signing off on returns. I mean, you're not going to be left alone. The training is very, very detailed training. So that way everybody is set up for success. I hope and that I, I think that that was very informative and I always love for us to make sure that we cover the video component is not that big of a deal, right? You're thought you're talking about being about so, this big on somebody's screen. You're not going to be full screen. Welcome to my life. See my world, you know, get all up in my personal business. You're, you're just there, right? So they correct. can see that you're talking to them. It's literally the size of a quarter. It's very tiny. Yeah. Yeah, I actually use TurboTax during tax season, and uh, I always take advantage of the live agent on screen. And it's just kind of comforting for me as a consumer to know and to see the person who's helping me. I love it. Facebook user would like to know, do I get the certificates and then apply? Or should I get the certificates after talking to a recruiter? Um, that's a great question. And here's what I recommend. If you're going to get um, 
If you're going to do any of the certificates ahead of time, I would recommend doing the QuickBooks Online Pro Advisor certificate for two reasons. One, it's less of a manual lift on your end, it only takes about eight hours. It's free for you to do. Um, two, um, it's going to give you some you know, vision into QuickBooks Online, right? And what you're going to kind of be experiencing and, and dealing with. And you may go through it and be like, wow, I love this. Or you may go through it and be like, actually, this isn't for me. Um, so I'd recommend at least getting that one. And the third reason why is because it's required for the role. So you can check that box off if you do end up wanting to pursue the opportunity further. Um, you can work on the, um, <clears throat> the the Pearson view, or excuse me, the Coursera one simultaneously, I would recommend that as well, especially if you're, you know, coming into the role without any relevant experience, I'd recommend doing that one before. But, you know, if you already have some experience, you just want to, you know, freshen up uh, on that type of work, then you could do it simultaneously while connecting with, with the recruiter and going through the process. Thank you so much, Blair. So in short, you're your process to getting hired is faster if you have those certifications before you move forward to that conversation with the recruiter. But it sounds like, as Blair described, the Intuit team is going to be very helpful and supportive for you along the way. Michelle Smith would like to know, do we get connected to a recruiter after we apply? And uh, this is going to dive into that hiring process a little bit. So um, let's hear it from Intuit. Yeah. Um... So I'm sorry, the individual applied and they're wondering when they're going to hear from a recruiter. Was that the, the question, Kimber? I think they would like to know after they apply, are they immediately contacted mm. by a recruiter? What's what's the application step? Yeah. So you when you apply, um, you're going to fill out some fields or check some boxes, um, depending on the, the medium or the platform that you use to apply. And if you're checking the boxes for the required experience that you already have it, um, the likelihood of you getting contacted by a recruiter is um, quicker, for sure, because um, we sometimes will prioritize those folks. But what I'll say is if if you've applied and you haven't heard anything, feel free to reach out to me directly on LinkedIn. I'm happy to help facilitate moving you through the process. That's something that I do on a regular basis. Um, and I can be a resource for you that way and, and, um, and help guide you from there. On the TurboTax side, once you, um, can, you know, once you ex have expressed interest, um, our recruiters, we have more than, you know, enough recruiters available that they will start reaching out, email, phone calls. They'll probably share their Calendly link um, to be able to schedule time. So definitely you will hear from one of our recruiters. Thank you, Karina. And to be clear, you guys are not going to be immediately contacted to Karina or Blair. You'll be communicating with someone who works under them. So um, if at any point along the way you need to be connected or you've lost your way in the application process and want to do a checkup, Burt Force is here to liaise for you. We can get you in touch with the right person. You're always welcome to lean on our team, hire at burtforce.us for support. I have a new question that hasn't been asked before in any of our live streams, and I'm really excited about it. Are you able to do bookkeeping part-time and... Do you tax associate during tax season? I can help answer that. Um, the answer is no. And the reason is because it's an employment status. So bookkeeping, that is a year round position that offers the medical benefits, whereas the tax associate is seasonal. So if somebody wanted to do, was working in a bookkeeping role and they wanted to do tax associate, they would have to give their two week notice and be required to have a 13 week break in employment. And the reason for that 13 week break in employment is because we don't offer medical benefits for seasonal. Um, that's the reason why. But at this time, we're not offering um, the duo. We may in the future. So yeah, for our overachievers out there, we're sorry to bust that bubble, but I think that's a good opportunity for you to evaluate which career track is really calling to you and which career track is really going to be the best for your life, which you can look at Blair's opportunity of the full-time year-round bookkeeping support or Karina's opportunity of the seasonal tax. And I'm sure each of them have different advantages that you need to consider for your own self. So please RSVP to our coffee and connect. I'm going to put that on screen for you now. This will give you an opportunity to do a little bit of research before we join again together on Thursday over coffee for you to explore more about the hiring process and the day in the life at each role. 
Cynthia, I see your comment about coming in late and you wanted to talk about the start dates for some of the positions. So let's revisit that briefly. Um, let's talk about the, the hiring timeline for each of your departments, if you don't mind, Karina and Blair, if we could talk about when you're looking to hire and what you're hiring for, and that will help Cynthia wrap her head around that for you. On the TurboTax side, so right now, since yesterday was the last day for um, tax, we still are interviewing where people are going through the screening and interviewing process for next tax season so right now we don't have confirmed start dates for next tax season though but at my thing is let's get you in let's get you interviewed and if it gets to the point where we make a verbal offer um that recruiter will connect with you and you'll be the first person we contact once we have those start dates available thanks karina cool uh, thanks, Karina. And so on the QuickBooks Live side, um, like I mentioned, there's two higher dates in June that we're working on right now. The earlier June one is June 3rd. Our cutoff for that is April 30th. Um, and then the June 17th is our second one that we're working on. Um, and the cutoff on that one goes into, I think, just the beginning of the second week of May. Um, I don't have that, that cutoff date in front of me right now. And then um, there's potential for future hire dates later in the summer into fall, um, but nothing confirmed in, uh, on the calendar as of right now other than those two June dates. Thank you so much, Blair. And it's totally possible for you to make that cutoff, right? Uh, we need that QuickBooks Pro Advisor certification, which takes eight to 12 hours for you to complete on your own. That's a Saturday and maybe part of a Sunday. Uh, and then you also need to pursue that 80 hour course to erase the one year of required experience. That's gonna take a couple of weeks, right? For you to get through that 80 hour course, but take that course and pass and apply. It's only April 19th. You could very well be making the cutoff for that opportunity. Uh, we have a user here who says that they've uh, acquired the Bookkeeping Pro certification and the Pro Advisor certification. How do I get a recruiter to contact me? I applied a few weeks ago on the Vertforce site. Should I wait longer? Yeah, I would just um, have that individual just reach out to me directly on LinkedIn. Um, or, All right. Yeah, you can connect them with me offline. I'll help them out. Yeah. Sounds great. You guys, so there's your answer. Your identity is not shared with us, so I don't see your name. It says Facebook user. So dear Facebook user, you can reach out to Blair on LinkedIn and he will support you there. Or you can email hire at vertfirst.us and we'll help you get in touch. All right, so we have someone here who says, if I want experience for bookkeeping, do you recommend that I connect with a CPA or where can I find that experience? I'd like to answer this one with um, an episode that we did. Well, that's our tax prep. Never mind. We didn't do bookkeeping experience, so I withdraw. I'm going to let Blair take this one and maybe mention that course. <laughs> yeah, um, so this is an individual who's just you know, kind of looking to, to break into bookkeeping space. Um, this is a tricky one, right? Because um, the recommendations I have might not always be an option for everybody. And, and I would say um, if you can help out with, if you have any family or friends or individuals in your network that are small business owners and they use QuickBooks and um, you want to volunteer to help them or, um, you know, just get some visibility into that and then, um, Maybe they can employ you for doing their books for them eventually. That would be one. Um, maybe there's an opportunity for you to be a um, treasurer for like a, a church or a community network that you're helping, that you're a part of or connected with as well. And, and they're using the software, that'd be a good way. Or just doing some bookkeeping in general to just kind of learn the ropes there. Uh, and then, you know, the other thing, you know, you could look for other opportunities that are open to hiring entry level zero experience and could get you some exposure into that space as well. Um, and then any type of boot camps or um, stuff you can level up on on your own by being proactive and taking the initiative from an online perspective. Um, there's there's some good resources out there and um, and some groups like this one, right? So, um, you know, there's some opportunities in, in that regard as well. Thank you, Blair. And we're bringing the course on screen on the chance that you haven't heard us talk about this course 
and uh, you haven't heard the wonderful news that it cancels one year of required experience, let's tell you now. We've got 80 hours which and four courses of free bookkeeping education offered by Intuit. You can access it at this link down here that I'm pointing at, and it's going to take you about two business weeks to get through it. And then you can um, then tackle some of those opportunities that Blair was talking about as well. Amanda, I'm not sure that I totally understand your question, but what I will say is if you ensure you are registered for our Thursday event, post this event, we will send out a new email and it will contain every link as well as a description to what the link is for in that email. So you can follow up from this call with that. And let me also share with everybody that Thursday as we meet, we will be meeting on Zoom, which is much more interactive than these live streams. Like with the live streams, we're up here talking at you, but in Zoom, we all get to talk together. So it's a much more conversational and uh, better experience for everyone who's being seriously, who's seriously considering into it as an employer. Michelle, great. Thank you, Michelle. We will see you Thursday. Uh, this is an interesting question. We'll bring this one up. Uh, does Intuit as a company have a minimum wage or are wages based off your home state or where you're stationed? I'll answer. For TurboTax, we do offer competitive pay rates based on the state that you reside in. And then we also offer an end of season bonus um, for the two different roles. So the bonus amount is different for the tax associate and tax expert. And we discuss those pay rates at the time of a phone screen with a recruiter. I think this is a really good time too, before we pop over to anyone else to revisit the benefits for each position. I know we did that at the beginning of the call, but I don't think we can talk about that enough because the benefits are so stellar. Yeah, I'm happy to do a quick recap on that on the on the QuickBooks Live benefits. It's um, we've just like Karina was mentioning mentioning as well. We have competitive um, hourly pay rates dependent upon the state where you're you're completing the work from. Um, we also have an eight and a half percent fiscal year end bonus. It's performance based bonus tied to your fiscal year earnings um, that you would get uh, that gets paid out typically second week of August as into its fiscal year wraps up July 31st. Um, and then uh, from the benefits uh, on the QuickBooks Live side. As a reminder, it's year-round work, um, so we're able to offer uh, medical, dental, vision, uh, the 401k with the match, um, birthday, PTO day, into a product discounts. Um, you have eligibility to enroll in into its employee stock purchase program as well. Um, so a little bit different from the seasonal uh, TurboTax rules, and I'll let Karina just do a quick recap on those as well. So with the benefits, as we mentioned earlier, um, it's, it is seasonal, so we don't offer medical benefits. So it's really the, the option of 401k um, discounts for our interim products and services. And then um, there is uh, sick time, and I think that's pretty much it for our seasonal folks. Inkyard would like to know, would it behoove you to grab both the QBO live certification and the tax certification? Um, you know, I, I don't really have a, a recommendation on that. I think it really depends on what, um, opportunity you want to pursue. And I would go full speed ahead with the required certs, um, for that specific opportunity. Um, if you're interested in both, sure. Why not? But you know, it's again, they're both not required for both roles. One's required for one and one's required for the other. As, uh, as a friend. I would share that taking the course can help you decide which career path is right for you. If you don't know anything about either of these career paths, you might get halfway into one and say, I hate this. I got to get out of here and go to the other. Um, let's see here. As a QuickBook Live, as a QuickBook Live bookkeeper, do you spend a lot of time in video calls with clients or on the phone? I can answer that. It depends on your position. If you are a back office expert, then you don't spend any time on video calls. If you're a front office expert, then a lot of your time is spent on video calls. However, you are expected to participate in um, the bookkeeping part. 
Thank you, Sam. I think it's really valuable to have you on this conversation because you're actively working in this role and you can share with us what the reality of it is on a day to day. So thank you for sharing the difference between the front office and the back office, because those are two dif different situations that you would be working in on a daily basis. And not That's... only are there front office and back office, there's um, three different departments, which is like the onboarding, the cleanup, and then the ongoing monthly bookkeeping service. So it just depends. Thank you. Uh, Amanda, also on a similar note, wants to know what your day-to-day -day looks like on the bookkeeping side of things. Could you give more insight into that? Uh, sure. So we follow a cadence, uh, a bookkeeping cadence. So like the first 10 days of the month, we do a document request. Then the next seven days, we um, categorize transactions. And then the next uh, seven days, we would reconcile statements. So it just depends on where in the cadence we fall in. So like the first 10 days, we would be chasing customers to upload documents. If you're a front office and if you're a back office, then you're categorizing transactions. Then if it's more into the month, then you're probably keeping the books and just answering emails, um, chats, messages, and you're interacting with your peers on a daily basis. So I love that you mentioned that you do interact with your peers on a regular basis because I've heard that not only from you, but many other people who we've talked to at Intuit describe the work culture as much more collaborative than you would anticipate from a remote environment. Would you agree? Oh, 100%. So as a bookkeeper, normally you work by yourself. Yes. But here at Intuit, our motto is we bookkeep as a team. So we're always collaborating with each other. Um, we share customers. Everyone works in the books. Everyone is responsible for the books. So we work closely with each other. Thank you for sharing that. And uh, we have a question from Kai Ying who would like to know about language competencies in getting employed at Intuit. And Karina, I know that you recruit for different bilingual positions. So would you like to speak to this? Kailing says that she isn't, well, she's asking about having to have fluent English, but you probably have more context to share. So our roles do require um, being, you know, fluent in English, but what we offer is folks, we offer TurboTax in Spanish. So we're always looking for agents that can assist our Spanish speaking customers, but we still need to be able to have some to be fluent in both English and Spanish. There isn't um, an only Spanish call. Everyone still takes them, but whenever a Spanish call comes through, those agents that have been hired specifically in bilingual and Spanish will get those Spanish calls. But I'll tell you, all the training, everything is done in English. It's just um, knowing how to just greet the customers that um, come through or routed through us as Spanish speaking. And for my education, Karina, are there other languages that TurboTax is offered in, or is it prim primarily English and Spanish? Right now, it's primarily English and Spanish, but we will also document if anybody's bilingual in any other language besides Spanish, we'll still document it. But for the sake of the software, it's being offered in English or Spanish. Thank you. And it looks like our questions are slowing down. And that's good because we're about 30 seconds over. So I will take two more questions and then thank all of you so much for an hour of your evening. We appreciate you. Uh, last two questions. Can we address what happens if you were Oconus and you apply to work at Intuit? You have to reside in the US. Um, unfortunately, um, you know, at least for on, on the TurboTax side, it's for IRS regulations. Yes, thank you for clarifying that. So if you're within 90 days of returning back to the United States, we'd like to get you plugged in on the education and we'd like to get you plugged in on the career opportunity. If you are outside of 90 days of returning to the U.S., put this one in your pocket. It's going to be here when you're ready to come back. All right, last question we will take this evening is, oh, I love this one because we did a whole podcast episode about this with you guys. So if you're working 20 hours as the tax associate, can you also do part-time work elsewhere? Do you need to disclose if you are doing part-time work outside of TurboTax? 
great question. So as long as you're not working for a competitor, that's fine. You just can't be working for TurboTax and any one of our competitors. Thank you for covering that. And we actually, Michelle, I'm going to ask you last minute to pull that episode where we highlighted entrepreneurs. We highlighted military spouse, business owners who were working with Intuit in different capacities. And one of the Intuit mottos is powering prosperity. And if I'm not saying that completely correctly, please correct me. But the whole theme of that conversation and that episode was how Intuit empowers you to be an entrepreneur and helps you obtain that financial freedom. Here it is. I'd love for you to go listen to this episode. Michelle, I'm saying Michelle a lot. We have Michelle's our producer and we have several Michelle's watching. Ironic. So we've got a lot of Michelle's in our chat tonight. And uh, just a moment, let me put this in captions for you. Perfect. Long link. I'm sorry. <laughs> Here it comes. Into it, powering prosperity. It is episode number 102 of the Vert Force podcast. The Vert Force podcast can be found on Apple Podcasts, Google Play, Spotify. Some of them are on YouTube and our website, number 102, certifications that empower employees to be entrepreneurs. We talk about how working with Intuit can help you um, sustain other income in your life. And, and we love that. Thank you, everyone, for your time and attention this evening. Last thing I will bring up on screen is please remember to subscribe, not subscribe, my brain's in another place. RSVP. RSVP to our coffee on Thursday. We had about 130 viewers tonight. I appreciate all 130 of you for tuning into this conversation. Countless questions, countless interaction, and we appreciate that. I'd like to give space for Intuit team to share anything that they would like to before we end tonight's live stream. It's been a pleasure this evening. So thank you and great questions. And looking forward to seeing you all on Thursday. Thank you for having me. I'll see you on Thursday. Thank you all so much. If you are RSVP'd at this link in the bottom left-hand side of the screen, we will send you a follow-up email. Uh, we'll email you tonight with all the links that we discussed and a brief overview of all of the different topics we covered. We will also send you information about Thursday's event. Thursday, we are meeting at 1.30 in the afternoon Eastern Standard Time. So for those of you on the Pacific Coast, it'll be a little bit earlier in the day for you to grab your coffee. We're going to have a really good time. Uh, RSVP at bit.ly forward slash VF hyphen into it hyphen coffee. We will see you Thursday, 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and we will be buying you a cup of coffee. <laughs>